por primera vez entre 1870 y 90, primer periodo, se construyen 30.000 kilómetros de ferrocarril que comunican al país de norte a sur, de este a oeste. Ese ferrocarril es el que duró hasta el día de hoy y movió la mercancía y la gente del país. No creo que se amplió muchísimo más. Telégrafos, no sé, 8.000, 7.000 líneas telegráficas para el 90. Escuelas, salud pública, urbanización, ciudades con sus kioscos. Uh, supporters of DS or some of his advisors were called the Scientificos, the scientific ones who were educated in the positivist uh, philosophy that was uh, really established under Waters. The idea that uh, you, you must have uh, order in order to have progress, as they thought they were developing the nation for the future, but they also came to believe that it couldn't be developed with the largely indigenous population that they accepted the view that the burden by the Indian population. So this led to movements, for example, in Mexico to drive the Indians off the land. Large haciendas were developed. Mexico was said to be a, a nation of 900 large landowners and 9 million landless peons. This industrialization, this development of Mexico was being done Basically, the expense of Mexicans. Después del 90, si usted revisa cómo se contrae el presupuesto federal en justicia, en servicios, en educación, contrae y comprime lo que había sido un proceso expansivo de derechos ciudadanos. Mexicans began to uh, question this, particularly middle class interests who were felt left out. This was the beginning of the movement that uh, comes to be identified with Ricardo Flores Magón that develops into the Partido Liberal Mexicano. The Flores Magones had started a newspaper in Mexico called Regeneración, Regeneration, and what they were talking about was uh, the bad administration of justice in Mexico. It kind of shocked people by, by pointing out what he had come to realize that you don't separate the administration of justice from the rest of the government. It was all part of the system. You can't criticize just the, the judicial system without recognizing that it was an integral part of the, uh, the whole porfiriato. You could criticize the local official or the judge or the church, but not Don Porfirio himself. And Flores Magón was pointing out that they couldn't separate them. And they organized the Partido Liberal Mexicano, the Mexican Liberal Party.